Arlo's on door handle detail this morning, getting all the knobs put on the exterior doors. How's it been going, bub? Uh, relatively well. We had a fight with the tr <laughs> okay, flipping the knobs. Yeah, I had a big fight uh, with that, but it's all good. Ray said that. Ray said that you said ten words in a row, and none of them weren't cuss words. Yeah. You made a whole sentence. It's really sharp, but it doesn't like masonite. Dude, this masonite is hard to drill. A hole what saw. Is, what is it about the masonite? I don't, it's really dense. I mean, uh, it's like super dense, hard. Is that gonna do better? I hope so, it looks good. You took a lot off of that thing. Oh uh, yeah, I think all the points of contact are sharp, so I hope that'll add up to uh, it not smoking. It had a quick adapter um, that I don't have. Oh. So I'm, I'm just chucking over the shank here. It had like a square drive. Okay, all right, she's spinning. You ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, that sounds sharp. So the bit is working properly now so that these teeth score deeper than that big chisel cutter, mm, see? Yeah. You have to score deeper first. Yeah, or it'll blow out. Yeah. Or you just won't drill, really. I don't know if it's the hard soft grain in the line that does that. Nice battery. You like that? <laughs> it's got the power. Okay, moment of truth here. Ooh, well, that is a fine threaded gear right there. Uh, let's see if this comes out like that. Here we go. Good thing you didn't pre-paint the door. Why is that? <laughs> I, mean, I know it's scratched up like crazy. That well, it's one. not. It's not scratched. It's just. Scuff. It's the metal. It's on yeah. primer. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I want to say something too about this drill bit. I don't know of any other drill bit that is made like this in this shape. You see? Yeah. It's similar to like a uh, glass cutting bit, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. Or a mas uh, masonry bit more than a normal drill bit. It's not like a normal paddle bit. No. Um, and and it's I like don't an know. Arrow bit. <laughs> it's it's unique to this tool. We could sit here and speculate forever. I would love to. What are you doing for the next hour? Let's Wait, talk that, about but it. That goes, that goes through it, so it doesn't, it doesn't track it, right? It's just, <laughs> but I guess you just take it out and sharpen it. Yep, I got it. It's Wednesday morning. We're back on site cutting some frosty boards this morning. It's about 20 degrees and the boards are sitting outside. We're doing these eight inch baseboards, which on a small house with small rooms looks crazy cool. And uh, they're also maple, like everything else in the house. So we're doing that. We got lots of other fun stuff going on today. So stay tuned. Sorry. <laughs> I'll get back to work. The frost just had me totally enamored. Sorry about that. We're cutting these baseboards this morning with Larry, which is not the ideal tool, really. I think a chop saw might be better. And a lot of these are measured to the 32nd of an inch by Jason. You do have your glasses on. So I think that's right. But anyway, this is not ideal. Um, but we're making it work. This is gonna get caulked in paint. So I wouldn't do this on like a stain trim, but it's working for what we're doing. Here's a little trick I learned from Arlo. If you make an errant mark like that guy, and you don't have an eraser, check this out. Yo, you burn wood? Come on, you can get discounts and everything. I'm 
I'm not sad about that. I, mean, I, think, I that's, think that's for a circular saw. Is that right there? It's a little. I, I just think the wall is not. Yeah, heavy. I think it's the wall. That's perfect. A little caulk in there. All right, grab my gun. Can you repeat any of the words Arlo said? Uh, not without you censoring them. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So none of them. Okay. No. All right. It was a full sentence of it, though. It was, it was impressive. I didn't know you could use that many words in a sentence that uh, <laughs> didn't really make sense. Yeah. He's been doing construction a long time. I mean, you, you got to build up to that level. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I had a basketball coach once that refused to cuss, but he'd get like super red faced mad at us. And he would say stuff like, uh, Jiminy Cricket. That was one of them. Jiminy Cricket. Yeah, instead of just cussing us. So maybe we could try doing that. Yeah. Son of a bird. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. video is brought to you by Rocket Money, which is an all-in-one finance platform that allows you to spend less and save more. And if you're in your 40s like me, maybe you're realizing that you're going to have to retire at some point and not be working. Rocket Money is a great way to manage what you're spending monthly so that you can cut down your expenses and actually save money to get towards that seemingly endless goal of retirement. Rocket Money safely and securely identifies reoccurring charges and cancels unwanted subscriptions for you with just a tap. You never have to get on the phone or try to hunt down the cancel button. Rocket Money does all the hard work for you. And this is awesome. Simply by uploading a photo and tapping a button, Rocket Money can negotiate your bills for you so you can lower your bills from internet service bills to cable bills and even phone bills. Rocket Money also gives you a clear picture of your net worth, including your cash, debts, investments, crypto, retirement accounts, and collectible items, and it shows you how it's trending over time. You can also set budgets, monitor your credit score, and it's always nice to add a statistic. Rocket Money is trusted by 3.4 million members and counting, so there's a good statistic for you. So to try it out for free or unlock more features with premium, just head to rocketmoney.com slash Perkins or click the link down in our video description. There's also a QR code somewhere here you can scan and it'll take you to the right place. Thank you to Rocket Money for sponsoring our video. Let's get back to work. Jason and I have a little pro tip for you today if you're installing baseboard. You could do it using a stud finder and you just run the stud finder along the wall. Every time you, you know, highlight a stud, you nail it. Or if you frame the house yourself like we have, we know all the studs are on 16 center. We just found one stud by knocking on the sides of this till we could tell which one was more solid, shot that. And then we aligned our tape with a 16 center on those nail holes. And now we can nail along the line, 64, 48, 32, 16. And I think that's a lot quicker and easier. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I mean, you just lay it down and tapes don't lie. Tape don't lie. <laughs> Tape don't lie. <laughs> All right, here we go. The last part of my homemade door jam is a door stop. This one that I'm gonna make is a half inch thick and about an inch and a half wide. I like to hand plane the edges so that they're nice and soft feeling. And it can be really frustrating to hand plane the edge of something like this small strip where it wants to move around. It's really lightweight, it slides across the table. So I usually make a really small, fast jig like the one that Jono is using here to hold the piece in place. And the jig is clamped to the table so you can very easily and quickly hand plane the edges. Plus there's a lot of them and a good sharp hand plane is important too. So right now I'm actually sharpening my hand planes that we've been using on the job. They're super dull. I'm gonna get them sharpened up and so our job can be easier back on site. There are lots of ways you could test the sharpness of your chisel or hand plane. But the method I like to use is quick and easy. I simply put it against my thumbnail like this. If it's tacky and it grabs, see how close can we get? 
If the blade is tacky and it grabs like that, then it's really sharp. We're doing baseboard in this closet, and this box that's in the closet is an air return, and it's built out of sheet metal. There's no wood around it, so we don't want to shoot a bunch of finish nails through it, I don't think. So what I'm going to do is take the baseboard, put a bunch of big stretch on the back of it, and then stick it, and I think that'll hold forever once it is set. So I guess only in Bryson City can you set up a t table saw right in the middle of the street and nobody even bats an eye Yeah, in. they're like, oh cool, look at yeah, that yeah, guy, yeah. wow. You mind if I squeeze through here? <laughs> No, you're good, bub. Thanks. Yeah, I'll bet in any place like Florida, people will just run you over. <laughs> Get <Yeah>. up. <laughs> Dude, they be Here, they're just cops. like, how's it going? I think I can fit. Yeah. What's up? You need a hand or yeah. anything? <laughs> yeah, they'll get out and start <laughs> cutting boards yeah. with you. Yesterday, the UPS guy, Jimmy's truck was out there and the door was open. You could, you know, you could get by, but the door was completely open. The UPS guy's waiting, waiting. You know, it came out and was like, hey, can you close that door for me? Shiner. Ray's using fast and final lightweight spackle, and he said that's not the right stuff, but it's what we've got. So what we got. But we usually use some kind of spackling instead of the caulk on those holes, right? Or wood filler. Or wood filler. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. It is a little more dense. This will work. Yeah. It works. I hope. Are you going to be redoing it when Jamie gets here? I'm not redoing it. Somebody else is going to chip it out. <laughs> <laughs> For anybody else out there who has a metal hand, sometimes you gotta be careful when you're working with finished product. As I was hand planing the edge of this door, I was going nuts with it, and then I looked and saw that I had put a bunch of marks on the door. Now this is just the primer, so it's not a problem. This is gonna get painted anyway, but let me give you a demonstration here. If I take the metal finger, look at that. <laughs> It's like writing on a chalkboard. Yeah, if you don't have a pencil with you, you can just scribble something with your finger. But in the same way, this is actually a really good tip. If you use your square on anything like this, mm -hmm. look at that, same thing, okay? You must not care about this door. <laughs> <laughs> I've here, already gave up on this door. Here, what about your hammer? <laughs> He's just over here making more work for me. <laughs> yeah. I got a guy, he falls right behind me everywhere oh, yeah, I go. There you go. <laughs> Paints everything that I mark up. Yeah. Anyway, there you go, pro tip for you. You thinking you might shut my door or are you just gonna leave that open for whoever wants to steal my stuff? <laughs> I was thinking I feel like Ray I'm with my kids. I was thinking Ray was getting uh -huh. out. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. I know I yell at my kids all the time. <laughs> you guys shut the door? Sorry about that. <laughs> nice hat. Thank you. Is that it? I think so. <laughs> I don't I don't love the way that this big drill bit hole doesn't really line up with the square, but yeah. it doesn't have any effect on the way that it latches. No. So I'm probably gonna leave it. It'll work just fine. Yeah. And uh, it's on the inside of a closet. <laughs> 
kind of an inconspicuous place to have something like that. Yes. I guess it's okay. I don't love it still, but. I don't All know who right. the lucky person is that's going to get to try to open this envelope. <laughs> well, we might as well wrap it around the bottom there since we got it on there. But um, there you go. You know. You're not going to lose that check out of there. They're going to wonder what in the world. <laughs> I actually. Uh, they may not bill you next time. That's taken um, the zip code to a whole nother level. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Oh, man. <laughs> Dang, Jono. That was impressive. That's, that's good. <laughs> I sweep the streets every day. Oh. That's how we keep it clean, see? Make it well, here's the thing. What I really don't want is sawdust getting in my nice, clean gravel, right? <laughs> I mean, that would be awful. So at least out here I can clean it up. Most people think a gravel is like self-cleaning or something. Doesn't need cleaning and maintenance. Not Jamie. As time has gone by, we've cleaned the street here in almost every way I can think of. We use shovels, rakes, we used a, uh, what's the thing? Beep, Piece beep, of plywood. Uh, we used skid plywood, steer. skid steer. Power washer. Uh, pressure washer, leaf blower. leaf blower, brooms. I mean, this is a highly maintained <laughs> section of road right here, you know, thanks to the Perkins crew, so. And also highly dirty, yeah, thanks to the Perkins also crew. The worst street in Bryson City. <laughs> hey, hey, hey now, hey. As far as the concrete's concerned. Yeah, they are going to uh, fix the road here. So part of the road got cut up over there when we built our other house and they had to get a water line or something. I think it was water line. And then we, uh, we checked with the county about the new build and they said, hey, what's the deal with the street being cut up? And uh, we're like, oh, that's from y'all. And they're like, oh. <laughs> they're like, you mean they didn't come and fix that right after we did that? And this was five years ago. And they said, we'll send somebody down there to fix that for you. Hmm. But they didn't. That's it for our video today. Thanks for watching and make sure to check down in our video description for some awesome links. One new one down there is to JK Custom Boots and Jamie's been wearing a pair of those for about six months now and he says they're his favorite boots he's ever owned. Uh, we reached out and they gave us an affiliate link to them that has a discount, so check that out. Also, we sell tool belts. The Perkins Builder Belt is a really slim, lightweight tool belt that we sell. I love wearing it. And there's also a link to True Work, as always, and a discounted 15%. Uh, so make sure to check those out. Thanks for building with us. We'll see you next time.